Hey, how's it going, everyone? David here, and welcome to another reaction. This episode, we are diving into Marvel's Jessica Jones, season one, episode number eight, called AKA WWJD. I'm thinking that it might be something to do with what would Jessica do? Could be wrong. I mean, I know it's something that they would say, what would Jesus do or something like that? I doubt they'll go the religious route, but anywho, that's just my prediction. Hopefully you've been enjoying the series. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Head on over to Patreon for the full, uncut, unedited reactions over there. Episodes extra early over there as well. With that being said, buckle your seatbelts, guys. Jessica is coming home. That's right. Phil? Where's your sister? Farting in her room, Phil. Here we go, honey. I know, I'm coming. Wait, is this Jessica's real family? Help me. What happened? My home never had an armed guard. Oh, that's Hank. Say hi, Hank. Hi, Hank. <laughs> optimistic I'll show you around Ooh, that's what, what I love you? about her this would, this would creep me out man somebody went out of their way to purchase I'll introduce you to the staff dude has a twisted back in the day Does she have that it's one thing on her? Phillips. Red hot chili pepper. I worked hard on this. Yeah, we see that Kilgrave. Are you all right? Was anyone hurt? No, but I had to get out of there. I left the city as fast as I could. I'm sorry. I should have called. Do you want to invite her up? Yo. Simpson's gone. Simpson. Oh, Samson. Simpson. He put in a leave of absence at work and then flat out disappeared. I'm worried Kilgrave's got him. <laughs> Trust, right? <laughs> you really think Jessica... No dress? Purple's not really my color. <laughs> Dude, he's so pissed. Jessica does not mess around though, man. Love that about her. They're in place until we've built some trust. Until I choose you. <laughs> you really do have a knack. For destroying the poetry of the heart, don't you? <laughs> Ooh, you can't beat. How do you beat him, yo? Oh! What the hell are you doing, Simpson? Right here. You're under his control. No, I'm not. That's what it made you say. I'm not Simpson. Under relax. <laughs> Cut it out, dude. There's a bomb in the basement. Get Hank. I mean, hopefully it was a bomb. You do care for me. I just can't handle another death on my conscience. Even if it's you. Do they care for you? You. And now you're not there. You have Pam. And I have nothing. I'm sorry. Well... I'm going to have to ask you to say that with cash. Whoa, okay. I'm sorry, I just... I lost him, so... So, you came home? Look, Kilgrave is gone. He's out of the city. How do you know that if you lost him? Babe, we're, we're free of him now. Oh, we're Simpson. Not Simpson, yet. you're making still mistakes. On the run from him. Stepping back. Stay out of it. Stay safe. I don't think Trish will though. Back to your boys. Told you. Hear him out, Trish. Listen. Don't be so stubborn. Neighbors have reported the sound of a gunshot coming from the hostage taker's apartment earlier today. And why? We need to listen to that, Jessica. Some shit was going damn. 
I like trying to make a shit situation tolerable. I'll take that. Oh, we got pancakes on deck. Is that yogurt? Oh, bacon. Do, do, do you mind? Make yourself at home. So what was Jessie and her family like? She told me all the surface stuff. Dad was a oh mechanic. Oh, my Mom was God. A, uh, professor or something, right? I'm sure she's busy. No. Uh, no Alyssa busy. taught math. math. She's a great teacher. Or terrible. Apparently, well, nosy you know, neighbor's hungry and all died. that. Leave. <laughs> Take your bacon. You've been touching that bacon. Take it. We don't want it now. That was just a teensy bit satisfying, don't you think? A little. You're welcome. I told oh. you not to touch me. Yo, we're on no touch basis. Just admit it. Your parents had nothing to do with why you forced me. Do you want to see? Do you want to see what they put me through? Well, we're about to find out. Me for my fourth elective surgery. How's that for love? <laughs> Kevin, dear, we're not finished. Calm down. Yo. Just if I'm not back within two hours, please remove the skin from each other's faces. Dude, why would you say something like that? Oh, because he's trying to have his little safe. Ugh. Dude, the guy is crazy. What are you doing? We can go about our business. Move along. Move along. They would be a really good team if he Kenobi? wasn't such a bad guy. Oh. And do not tell anyone about us. A waste of energy. Was it? You just saved say. four lives. You just saved people. Literally two kids, a wife, and even the husband. You don't need me to do that. Are you kidding me? That man almost blew his brains out, which I genuinely thought was the right thing to do. I can't be a hero without you. <laughs> so I'm saying, like, I know he's a bad person, but if he was a good person, I think that they would be a good team. If you didn't come back. I came here of my own free will. Trust that I'll come back. It's crazy because he keeps he keeps putting the two other people He's making Jessica feel guilty. With Kilgrave, what the hell? If there's one person who has a play, it's Jessica. I wouldn't question her, Trish. You can't. He's a psychopath. The amount of meds it would require would be staggering. But what if you could teach him to be more like you? No, Jessica. Show him. But maybe it's a way to, you know, make it right. This this story right here is so interesting to me. This Hogarth and, and Wendy divorce. Oh, God. You were right. For what? Maybe about you and me. Maybe we can balance the scales a bit. Well, we should certainly try. No, this hero thing doesn't You can't ingest Sufentanil. Hmm. Wow, he was questioning it. Hold up. Wait a minute. Jessica, you playing a bold game right now. You got the evidence you need to get hope out. I knew it, dude. I was just about to say, where Don't is move. the bodyguard? Let him go. Sorry. Oh my god. Whoa. Simpsons are right, right? Oh, this is a Simpson, is it? Oh no. 
If that was Simpson, Simpson's done for. That was a really sharp glass. Caught on his side. All right, season one, episode number eight of Jessica Jones. I'm going to give you a five second countdown to guess what this rating is going to be. Yes. Yes, indeed. Another freaking nine, dude. I don't think I, I swear to you, I don't think I gave any episode less than a nine. I'd be shocked as shit. Dude, this fucking episode was great too. Excuse my language. First and foremost, when it comes to this episode, I love how manipulative Kilgrave is. But he does it, when it comes to Jessica, he does it in a non-controlling her mind way. It's like he does, and he mentioned it, but it's like he doesn't want to control her mind. He wants her to choose him without him making her do that. So it's really crazy. Obviously, we pick up where we left off, where uh, Jessica is, you know, he, he brought her to this house, this house that she used to live in. We find out a little bit more background information on why Jessica became an orphan. Uh, I'm assuming she survived the car crash because she, you know, had the power back then. Everyone else in the car died. Philip, her parents. And so for him to drag her back to this house, remodel it the same exact way they had it before they left the house on that trip. To go to that degree. To make someone suffer. is ridiculous. It's crazy. It's crazy. One thing I loved for sure about this episode, and yes, we did indeed get some Hogarth stuff with uh, Wendy and their divorce and all that good stuff. We got a little bit of Trish, you know, trying to convince Simpson or Simpson trying to convince Trish to back off and let, you know, Jessica figure it out on her own. She'll be okay. But the majority of this episode was just so much dialogue and such great dialogue going on between Kilgrave and Jessica. And it's crazy because I was like, like I said, when I was sitting there watching it, I was like, man, I could totally see myself really enjoying them as a team, enjoying them as a, a unit, obviously not knowing, or obviously we know that Kilgrave is who he is at the end of the day. But I kept saying to myself, like, man, with his power, with his mind control power and her super strength, we would be good to go. Especially as like a, what do they call her? She's a private investigator, right? The convincing that, that Kilgrave could do could be so much clues, so much help to what's going on. You know what I mean? Any crime they have to, to solve, any crime they have to figure out, having Kilgrave and her side by side would be almost too good, in my opinion. Almost too good. But at the end of the day, we know who Kilgrave is. We know how he goes about. Uh, he's definitely usually a step ahead. I was definitely surprised when... When I saw, a, I think her name was Ava, the lady of the, the, the waitresses, or the, the waitress as opposed to the waiter. When the waitress fell, and then the waiter fell, I was like, wait, what's going on? And almost as quickly as I questioned what's going on, she smacked him or covered his mouth with that little... uh little handkerchief, I guess, or whatever you want to call it, a little napkin, a little rag, whatever she had, and she injected him with, she mentions it all the time, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, or, I know it starts with an S, but I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, and now she's in the driver's seat, but my problem is, and where she fucked up, in my opinion, is, kill him, dude, the dude is too crazy. We got the little phone information we needed for Hope. Let's go, man. Let Simpson take him out. 
Jessica must have a crazy plan. She must she must know what she's doing. She wouldn't just do this to do it. So I'm not going to second guess it. Uh, another thing that I thought was really uh, interesting is that he kept using the waiter and the waitress as his sort of security so that Jessica couldn't do certain things. So if you if, like if she disobeys something, she he wasn't going to control her. But he was going to put, you know, their conscience or she, he was going to put the deaths of the waiter and the waitress on her conscience. And obviously that's not something she wants at all. So just the fact that. You know what I'm saying? He He sat there and made her. Made them, sorry, not even made her, made them keep their eyes open until Jessica comes home without blinking. Ridiculous. When they held the, the knives to their throats. Ridiculous. It's crazy. It's, it's crazy. And he does it in this such, like, he's such a douche. Like, a legit douche. But he does it so like effortlessly, so carelessly, the way he talks, the way he asks for something, he does it almost without question. And I see what Jessica was trying to go for. And I thought, you know, if it wasn't Kilgrave, how cool it would be to have somebody who could mind control but do it for the good. I don't know how somebody mind controls and, and, and does that for the good, but nonetheless, man, another solid episode. Uh, season one has definitely been a, an awesome, awesome season. I, I could do, I'm telling you, man, if somebody can go back and check every single rating I gave to every episode prior to this and just let me know, I don't think I went lower than a nine. And I think I threw a 10 in there somewhere. I truly do. And it's crazy. It's crazy to sit there and say that. Like, been watching the show for, what are we, eight episodes now? That's the equivalent of like two months. Been watching this show for two months. Eight episodes and not any episode, like not one episode has gotten less than a nine. It's crazy. And, 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 and the more I watch these shows, the more I watch these hero shows, the more I hate the comment that I made so prematurely when when I said Daredevil has to be the like the best superhero show and and it's not a not towards Daredevil it's not any sort of uh, sort of disrespect towards Daredevil because Daredevil to me uh, still holds a special place in my heart and it probably will always because it's the first superhero show that I've ever watched something about it felt fresh something about it felt right. And so what we get here, to me at least, is just a much better story. A much, a much twisted and easygoing story that, you know, all the characters, I can honestly say that the, some of the characters in, in Daredevil are not my favorite. While in here, there hasn't been a character that hasn't been outstanding. There hasn't, there hasn't been one character in the show that I was like, ah, oh, she sucks or... Uh, he sucks. He's horrible. Horrible. All right. And, and, and what I mean by like horrible, like, I just mean like, oh, I hate the way they wrote this character or I hate, you know, how they're, they're acting and how they delivered on a certain scene. I'm saying horrible in the, in those sense, in, in the sense of everyone who's in this show, they wrote. The writers wrote perfectly for them. The actors acted out the scenes perfectly. No one's been boring at all. There's been no dull, boring moments. Even the Hogarth story that I really don't ever care about romances and, and, and marriages and divorces and stuff like that. That has all been super interesting too. Trish is awesome. Simpson's awesome. I called him Samson earlier, but Simpson's awesome. Malcolm is awesome. Jessica's obviously great. Luke, when he was there, was great. Kilgrave, probably the best damn super her, su superhero show villain we've seen, at least in the shows that I've watched. 
So, I mean, as much as it shocks me that I've been only given nines, it also doesn't shock me that I've been given nines because the show deserves it, man. The storylines, the everything, dude. The fear that just always seems to linger whenever Kilgrave's around or whenever Jess just senses him is... It, it's something I've never seen, man. But that's the episode. Hopefully, you enjoyed the review. Hopefully, you enjoyed the reaction. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Head on over to Patreon for the full, uncut, unedited reactions over there. Episodes extra early over there as well. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Peace, guys.